Welcome, everyone, to another wonderful and exciting episode of Smarter Kiss. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the past episodes that we've had so far. Uh, my name's Daz. Great to have you all back here again. Joining me today, we have the guy who thinks, no, I'm not going to do that to you again, but it's Josh. Um, we've also got the wonderful pop art of Keenan. We've got uh, the time turner, Justin. And uh, introducing this week for the first time, we have the wonderful Lee. Welcome, gents. Woo! Hi. Woo-hoo. We're back. Oh. <laughs> Lee we picked are. up his phone this week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank you all for, for joining us again. Um, just going quickly over the rules for those of you who have probably forgotten in the in the past uh, week. What you need to remember is that um, each of us as a host gets to ask a question. Any other host who gets a question right, they get a point. Also, that host also gets a point if, if another one gets it right, unless everybody gets it right, in which case they get no points because they were obviously not being smarticus enough and the question was way too easy. Sounds simple? Well, that's good because we like it simple here. It, it makes us feel good. Alrighty, so without any further ado, let's get started. Awesome. All right, so like I said before, my name is Daz. I'm here in the Canberra studios. As you can see behind me here, the Blues and the Raiders. The home of the Raiders, and yes, and we're still celebrating that wonderful grand final win from the Raiders. Yeah, because we, we uh, let me live up my dreamland, okay? Let's uh, not look, discuss the uh, <laughs> <laughs> refing decisions behind that match. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm. So here's my first question to my esteemed gentlemen that are on the line with me here. Uh, as you all know, um, there was once this disease called smallpox, but it has been completely eradicated. What year did the World Health Organization say that smallpox was eradicated? I'll give you a five-year gap either way, but yeah, what year was it eradicated? Um, you've got 20 seconds to answer, so go. Book starts now. Great to think that um, we made progress on something in, in humanity. So everyone's thinking, and we've got two seconds on the clock. Jesus, that was fast. <laughs> Time's up. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. So we'll start off with Keenan. What do you think the answer is? Well, I'm thinking about um, there it is. Dings for Keenan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about a song and if if I could if I could get rid of that virus if I could if I could I give you more 1927 Oh no 1927 So predating the World Health Organization good answer <laughs> But the way he tied it in with the band was beautiful it was beautiful It was yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, only 1927-ish. Let's terrible say. band, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justin? Uh, yeah, so I went a bit later. I did. I thought it would be a good idea to have the World, Hall, World Health Organization in existence. Did I mention that I'm from the Central Coast of New South Wales and my name's Justin? Did I <laughs> yeah, well, oh. you've got to do it once. Is that backwards? <laughs> 3,000... No, no, that's 1993. It is? It's back, yeah. isn't it? 1993. Perfect. Was, Alrighty. Yeah, 1993. Is that okay, the way and you Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, that's what you <laughs> 1993 is my guess. Stab in the dark, man. Stab in the dark. Josh, what do you think your answer is? I'm also going for a uh, stab in the dark as well. Um, I have no idea. But uh, I'm close to what Justin said. I was one year later, 1994. Whoa! Ooh! Yes. How can we both okay. be so close and yet so wrong? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you never know. You yeah, might be close. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> me. <laughs> Save me, please. I want to get at least one point. Okay. Well, so we got it wrong. <laughs> I d- you definitely got it wrong. I mean, me too. Um, but I, I'm Lee. I'm new. I haven't done this before. I'm from Rosebud because Daz told me to tell you I am. Uh, <laughs> I do McDay's Irish Bar and the Rosebud Hotel with Matt, who can't be with me because we're still in lockdown in Victoria and we're not allowed friends. 
In answer to your question, I did a sunshine and some birds and an ocean and a fish. <laughs> And then wrote 1987 next to all that. Ooh. Oh. Did the anyone year get the very, right? Very famous person was born. No, not really? Taylor Swift. Me. No way. Lee was the closest, but he wasn't within the five-year range. Just it was 1980 yeah. was the year. Wow. So it looks like I'm, I'm on that losing streak. Doesn't oh. seem that I, any of the questions that I ask. And people can get you. I thought I'd give you like five years either way. Yeah, no, that was a big help. Yeah. Oh, we've got a hand up. We've got a hand up. Can yeah, I just say, well, just to defend yes. how, how wrong I was, I, I actually got confused when the vaccine came out. Right. Uh, versus when the uh, World Cup was because the vaccine came out in 1792, um, which is still way off, but um, my dyslexia got 1927 out of it. So, All right. <laughs> and I, I just wanted to sing because there's no karaoke around. Hey, Fair then. enough. I like the little bubble you just created, but you weren't even within 50 years. <laughs> so <laughs> no matter what spiel you've got. Yeah, absolutely it's not. Still <laughs> uh, well, why don't you take on the rudder for a second there, Justin, and, and, and let us know the next question okay, there. Okay, okay. So with the uh, the Raiders flag in the background, uh, there's a few uh, sporting jerseys getting around. So I'm going to ask an NRL question, and I'm going to relate it to the Central Coast, which is where I am located, because, again, Daz asked me to mention that. Um, so, which NRL team had to relocate to the Central Coast for the 2020 NRL season? We're after a 2020 NRL team currently playing in my backyard. That's their home turf. They had to relocate, probably due to some sort of a pandemic. Which NRL team is it? And your time starts now. Lee's very quick with the texter there. Josh is still thinking. I think Darren's writing. I can't be. Yeah, he's writing something. Keenan's drawing. I am writing something, yes. Good, good, good. Five seconds. Good start. (laughs) Five seconds on the countdown clock. And that is our 20 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Josh, you're on my top left on my screen, and that just works for my brain. What did you put for the NRL team? Uh, I was trying to think for a little bit about. which, you know, which regions are currently in the, you know, big pandemic areas and like whatnot. Like Victoria. Um, <laughs> yeah. I learned that. And that's kind of the direction heard... that I went. Okay. Um, Stormy uh, weather. Storm down. That seems like the most, I guess, the most logical answer yeah. for me. But Keenan. Maybe he was just a little bit close to Darren time because, I, because Canberra's only just come out of lockdown. The Raiders. I thought it might have been the Raiders. All right, uh, let's go to the Raiders man himself. Daz, is it your team? Is it another team? Well, another popular team that people support here in Canberra is this particular team. Uh, so I went with St. George. St. George. St. George, yes, very popular yes, team. St. George, because it's St. George Illawarra, so I thought, well, they just have to move a little bit that way. Head north of the coast, yeah, yeah. Okay, and Lee, what do you reckon, mate? You follow the NFL? Well, as always, um, I say always, I've had one question in my entire Smarticus history, um, but I've started with a very simple drawing of a uh, Brachiosaurus with smallpox, um, <laughs> and then went with New Zealand Warriors. Yes, he has it. It's the New has Zealand it. Warriors, ladies and gentlemen. He does follow the NRL. Um, no, it was a guess. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Starting off uh, for our next question, let's have Josh. Yeah, all the usual stuff. I'm Josh, I do stuff. Yeah, cool. All right, question. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to, we're going to talk about uh, movies and specifically um, box office gross here. Uh, we're going to talk about Star Wars. There are 11 live action Star Wars movies. And I would like to know how many of those 11 films are the highest grossing film of the year they were released. How many of them? How many of the 11 live action Star Wars films are the highest grossing films of the year they were released? No. All right, so no, how many? Not inflation, none of that crap. Of the, of the 11. How many? Okay, let's start the countdown. Let's go. 20 yes. seconds. Go. Oh, oh okay, because I've already answered this. <laughs> I'll just. In the meantime. Just dance. He's already done it. Uh, 10 seconds. Five seconds. And that's 20 seconds. Okay. Time's up. 
let's. I'm just gonna follow along the uh, order at the top of my screen here. Keenan, you're first. What did you oh, say? I had no. Oh, hey, oh, that, hey, that's wrong. It's upside down. Uh, Six. <laughs> Six. <laughs> I thought I, I, thought I, I thought you said paper. nine for a moment there. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Kenan giving us six. Justin. Uh, I'm just trying to draw Jaja Biggs. Can you just give me two seconds? No, no time for oh, that. Okay. I'm gonna go for three because the three original ones were the best. The rest kind of sucked a little bit and were rather disappointing. So I'm just gonna go for three. I I will um dispute your the rest sucked claim. Fair enough. Um, Fair enough. We'll have this discussion later. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's. <laughs> what do uh, you got? Three, I think three. <clears throat> so, um, I wouldn't say that I'm a, a brilliant uh, person of Star Wars, but I would still say, out of the eleven movies, five of them probably were the best sellers of the year. I know for sure that the episode four and you hope was, and I know for sure that um, the Phantom Menace was. Wait. Last, last person, what do you got to say, Lee? Well, I mean, not much, really, because um, I've only ever seen one Star Wars film, and that was about <gasps> four weeks ago. <laughs> and I knew that would get, get some sort of reaction <laughs> like that. I only just watched A New Hope about two months ago, well, pre-COVID. I drew some stars having a war. Oh, yeah. Is that a chainsaw? <laughs> oh, lights, oh, I thought they chainsaws. Lightsabers. Yeah. Of course they are. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Not just swords wrapped in barbed wire. Yeah. And but I also got a bit fancy with my answer because I thought the answer was three, so I wrote three CPO. Oh. 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 CPO. Uh, yeah. 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 I will say, Keenan did get it right. Six Star Wars films have been wow. the highest-grossing films of the year they were released. Really? There you go. But the ending was so lame. Are we, which one are we talking about? <laughs> the, the last, the, the last one, the last Jedi. Oh, oh the last Jedi. Yeah, hey, we're not I've only seen that movie once and I don't remember much. And once was enough, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah once was enough. <laughs> Send all your hate again. mail too. Keenan, would you... Keenan, would you like to answer more dings and give us your next question? Well, actually, yeah, let's just open the, uh, let's make these comments go up. Let's talk about nerd stuff and uh, debate about it because everyone else will come in and shine in on that one. So uh, we can talk about Star Wars as much as you want. So, but uh, yeah, right now. I'm okay with this set of circumstances. Is, <laughs> back to sport, back to sport. <laughs> sport the answer. Um, another D. Uh, how many countries, how many countries have hosted both the summer and Winter Olympic Games. So how many countries have hosted both the Summer and Winter Olympic Games? Time starts now. Yep, 20 seconds on the clock. How many different countries have eh, hosted Winter and Summer? Five seconds on the clock. <laughs> Josh, Josh, what do you think? How many countries have hosted both the Summer and Olympic Games? Oh, the Summer and Olympic Games, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Summer and Olympic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and Winter Olympics. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea. Um, so I just kind of threw four you drew out idea? There, and I'm kind of just hoping that I'm right. Four? Okay, four. Ooh, that's okay. shy, that's shy. Alright, Justin, over to you, mate. I went for a dozen first world nations that could afford such a feat. Uh, there's only one that's hosted a winter on the southern hemisphere, if that's right. Um, but I'm going for a dozen. Okay, cool. Mm. Alright, Lee, you're a sporting man, we know this. Uh, well, I am, you're right, and to prove so, I drew a conga line. <laughs> Oh, that's that's something that doesn't that's, happen in 2020. That's, that's, that's <laughs> right. Oh yeah, social distancing. There is oh, there yeah. is 1.5. No, I I only wrote two. <laughs> Ooh, so, okay. Put my neck out and just went for two. All right, um, Daz, it's all up to you, mate. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh, okay. In that case, maybe I should have uh, upped my ante because um, I'm actually in agreement with Lee, and I put two. 
Uh, so just a recap on the rules. If uh, no one gets my answer right, I you don't get nothing, man. You get, nothing. Nothing. You get, you get zero. zero. That's right. All right. So I'm going to say good night right now, and uh, <laughs> hopefully you got. That's the second time you've left us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but most people got wrong answers wrong. So it's actually six. Six. Wow. Yeah, six. So I was the closest, henceforth I should get a point. <laughs> yeah, I, maybe we might need to introduce that rule, Daz. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Let me think about that now. <laughs> <laughs> it would have worked on your question, though. Yeah. So just as viewers at home are trying to debate this, yeah, yeah. Um, you had France, you have the United States, you have Germany, Italy, Japan, and Canada. They have both hosted the summer yeah. and winter Olympic Games. Okay, well. I was sure Kazakhstan hosted a summer and a winter Olympics. Kazakhstan? Yeah. What with their fast <laughs> internet and everything? Well, let's now bring on. <laughs> our new... <laughs> Lee. I knew that happened. And <laughs> cue the technical difficulties. Yeah. Thank you very much. What's that, mate? We didn't hear that. What we've lost? <laughs> yeah, we've lost you. You can't. <laughs> you got that one? Good. <laughs> so, as previously stated, I am Lee. I host one half of the uh, Matley Cruz Productions performances in the McDade's uh, Irish Pub and the Rosebud Hotel on the beautiful but locked down Mornington Peninsula. And my question, ladies and gentlemen, is not sport related. Oh, thank what God. kind of oh, aquatic God. creature is a tasseled wobbegong? Heard of this. Right. Nice name. <laughs> it is a nice name. It can be used for other things, but for this instance, we shall use it for an aquatic animal. <laughs> you don't wonder who comes up with these names. <laughs> we have five seconds on the clock, not counting the bonus seconds that I gave you. Time's up, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Ooh, Are we ready to reveal our, um, what do you call them, answers? Mm -hmm. That's how this sure. works. Question yeah. followed by answer. Yeah, Josh, much, you yeah. can go first. Uh, yay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I was more concerned about that. It was a really interesting name. <laughs> That's what I was more interested in. Um, I said squid because oh, I can yeah. and I did. I, I don't know, but I can and I did. So there you go. Uh, well, I mean, glad uh, you justified it. That's the main thing. Yeah, I don't know, I'll just throw it out there and hope for the best. And now we'll see what Justin fired answer Justin has. Right, so I was thinking it might have been a character in a Harry Potter series, but you were after aquatic animals, so I, I thought there's lots of different frogs out there, so maybe it's a frog. And that's a, a bearded goat for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote goats, so obviously I'm going, you're going for, the, yeah. going for the frog. It's up there with your horse. Yeah, yeah it is up there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who is next on my list? Keenan. Right, Despite uh, wearing that top, we'll let you continue to play. <laughs> I was thinking it's a baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do. Yeah, try and get that out of your head, people. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, man. <laughs> you know, when you said you were going to leave earlier, you should yeah. never have come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good, and the it's Daz Man, final but not least. Hmm. Yet again. You steal my damn joke, Keenan. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? The correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, that are not ladies, is a shark. Oh, two points. We need a breed of shark. Uh, <laughs> Just be careful when you type it into Google, though, because sometimes. <laughs> So, it, it looks like Lee has come off to uh, absolute trumps, which means that um, we're not inviting him back again. But, <laughs> look, I want to thank uh, all the hosts for joining us here today. We've had Josh, Justin, Keenan, and Lee. Hope that um, you did well as, as well at home. Don't forget, support your local clubs if they've got uh, the, the, the uh, trivia back there. If not, keep, keep on them to keep asking when is it possible to come back. Realising that Victoria, as of this stage, is still a lockdown, 
where we've got our fingers crossed for you uh, to be able to come back soon. Also support the online trivia. Uh, it's there for you. So make sure that uh, you are there for it as well because you know, you're the ones who wanted it. So we're the ones who are giving it to you. Okay, until next time, I hope you are uh, all right, feeling great out there and see you next week. Next week? Yeah, let's go with next week. Next week on Smarticus. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.